OK. So let's review prominence a little bit. The first thing you want to think about is content words versus function words, right? You see a sentence, OK. How many stresses, uh, different stress, how many levels of stresses do we have? Four, right? First one, unstressed, right? So which word do you not stress? Which syllables? Function words. Function words. And when you do not stress function words, what happens? What's the most important thing? Vowels get reduced, right? Vowels get reduced. That's the most important thing. Vowels get reduced. OK. And what happens to content word? Every content word. There is some stress, right? There is some stress on every content word, which means you're not going to reduce the bell, right? In the third level, you need to find out if you put equal amount of stress on every content word, you're going to go, uh, 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 uh. It's going to sound too, uh, 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 uh. You don't want to sound that way, right? So you're going to put most stress, which is called prominence, on one word, right? And the fourth level is emphatic stress, where you go up really high. Now, we talked about three instances, three, three categories that affect placement of prominence, right? Three things. The first thing? Last content word. Last content word. Last content word. New information, OK? And they usually come at new information is usually carried by the last content word, right? Not the function word, information, new information, last content word. The second one? And the example, the example was something like, here's a package for you. Not, here's a package for you, right? Here's a package for you. The second one? Emphasis. Emphasis, emphatic, right? And the example was, I am listening. I am listening. I am listening. I am listening. You, you would usually say, I'm listening. But if you want to emphasize N, I am listening. OK, the third one? Huh? Constructive. No, contrastive. Contrastive, right? Is this high or low? Is this high or low intermediate English class? So three categories, but the basic principle is you emphasize the most important information. Okay, that's the basic uh, principle. You emphasize most important information, and English is kind of uh, unique in the sense that we use stress to uh, differentiate the meaning. Okay, the force is a. Who did it? Then you would say, I did. I did. You would say, I did. You put stress on I did, right? I mean, nobody's going to say, uh, who did it? And it was I who did it. It was I. I mean, that sounds very, nobody speaks that way, right? But some other languages, uh, Italian, kind of does it that way. OK, let's get some more uh, exercise with First, first uh, category, stressing the, what's the first one? Stressing last content, last, last content word. I mean, but that's not the basic principle. For the first one is stressing new information, OK? New information. So this one, where, which word gets stress or prominence? Sentence? One, two, three. I lost my hat. And so the prominence is hat, right? I lost my hat. And B? What? What kind of hat? What kind of hat? Okay, we're going to get rid of, okay, in fast speech, in fast speech, we're going to get rid of D, okay? Link this together and get rid of. 
the two. So what kind I have? What kind I have? Kind of. What kind I have? Okay. B A. One more time. One, two, three. It was rain. Okay. Was uh, okay. This becomes. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was a rain hat. Okay. Next. What color rain hat? What color? Color. Okay. What's the vowel here? The vowel. Is it one or two or this one? One or two? One. What color? Color. Color. What are you hearing? A or one or two? What color? Color. One. Color. One. Color. One. color. color. This one? Color. 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 Okay. What color? Color. So what color? What color? Uh, uh, in our textbook, we're, they're using the schwa. Okay. What color rain hat? Uh, a. It was white. It was white. White. Okay. Next. White with stripes. Right? What about B? Okay, so which one? Car. Car, right? In the car. There was a white hat with stripes in the car. There, there, was, was, a there, was, there was a white hat with stripes in the car. Okay, okay. There was a white hat. There was, there was a white hat. Well, uh, there was a white hat with stripes in the car. There was a white hat with stripes in the car. Okay, A. Which car? Which car, which car? Which car right? Which car? Which car? Next one. The one I sold. The one I sold. The one I sold. Okay. 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 Uh, with your neighbor, uh, to the next one. So you two, you two. Two, 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 uh, two, three. Okay, you know, you know, uh, no balls. I want some shoes. What kind of 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 what kind of Black or white? Black. R there and the R and the flat together, so it's hard. Tired of. Tired of. Yes, tired of. Huh? Both, both should this last or last one. What do you think? I think both. 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 Not both. 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 Right? Both. both. Why? Because both are new information. Yes? Contrastive. Contrastive, right? Contrastive stress. Okay. Oh, there was a question. <clears throat> Here. Over here, what's the pronunciation of T-H-E? How do you say this? The one? The one, right? And the question was, I mean, wait, why? Shouldn't that be the one? Because that's a vowel, right? Well, I'm confused. It's a vowel, but how come you don't say the? Why do you say the here?
Yes, it starts with a W. One starts with, it's not about, it's not about the spelling. You say V when it's followed by a vowel sound, not spelling. Okay, one starts with a W. W, it's, one is like this, or one, one. Okay, it starts with a W sound. Okay, so Europe, the word Europe, university. It's a university, not it's an university, right? A, uni a university, okay? And uh, this is a European style, <laughs> a European. I think I bought this in Korea, actually. <laughs> okay, this one. Huh? Uh, uh, when I listen to the radio, some people say the the United States instead of the United States. I'm confused. It's supposed to be the United States. The the United the United the. Some people say the United States. Uh, I would. Why would you emphasize the United States? Uh, I mean, yes. When you when you want to emphasize the, you say the. Did you see the my? For instance, uh, let's say uh, two days ago, I, I was watching ESPN and they were talking about basketball players. I mean, nowadays everybody's talking about basketball players, right? You know, you know what happened? Uh, the Pistons against uh, the Pacers. Yeah. All right, so everyone's talking about uh, basketball, and this person named Mark Jackson, and he was talking about how he beat this person named Mike, Mike, right? And then, so yeah, I, I beat Mike when I was in high school. So then the other guy was saying, "Oh, you're not talking about the Mike, are you? The Mike, Who's the Mike, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan." So when you want to emphasize the person, the Mike, I saw, I. For instance, if I said, I saw Tom Cruise last night. What? You mean the Tom Cruise? You would emphasize the and you would say the, right? But I can't imagine why you would want to emphasize the United States. <laughs> so I think it's a confusion. Confusion. Like, because it starts with the uh, U, yeah. university. So people, okay, U, I see a vowel, so maybe I should say the United States. Yeah, like when you want to like emphasize, like when you want to emphasize the when you emphasize the, when you emphasize the it becomes the right. When you emphasize a, uh, then you say a. a, a. How many uh, how many apples do you want? No, I want I, I want I want <laughs> I want one. <laughs> how many? No, I need a apple. Oh, that sounds, no, it sounds weird, but when you when you want to emphasize uh, then it becomes A, okay? Okay, so here. X, which one gets uh, prominent? Shoes. I want some shoes, right? Shoes. I want some shoes. 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 Why? What kind of shoes? What kind of shoes? What kind of shoes? Kind of, okay? Get in the habit of saying kinda, kinda. That would make your life a lot easier. Kinda, kinda. What kind of shoes? Kind of shoes. Okay. Casual. 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 What's the what's the consonant here? Usual. Casual. Usual. 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 Usually. Usual. Casual. Casual. Casual shoes. Casual shoes. Why is a little tricky? Next one. Black. Black or brown? Black or pink? We haven't talked about this. We're going to talk about this uh, uh, after we come back from Thanksgiving on Tuesday when we talk about intonation. Here, question. So many people go black or brown? Black or brown? No, that's not right. You want to go black or brown? Okay, this is not good. Black or brown? Black. Black or brown? When it's a uh,
closed choice when you're giving two choices, black or brown? Black or brown? Black or brown. Okay. Yes? I'm tired of black and brown, right? I'm tired of black and brown. Okay. I want some red shoes. Shiny red shoes. Have you ever seen red shoes? Maybe in Las Vegas, but not in Boston. Any questions about this? I'm tired of black and black and black and brown. Very good. Black. Whatever you have. A and E. You you want to uh, say a lot of syllab again. So if you link this together, black, gun, okay, black gun, black and brown, black and brown, black and brown, black and brown. Other questions? Okay. Now, so this is uh, about old, new information. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, okay, U4 is one group. Four. Four, one group. Just sit out. <laughs> Three, one group. This is about the second category, uh, emphatic stress. Uh, so each group has an index card. Uh, we did something like this before. Okay. Each of you represents one syllable. Okay. So if your sentence says John's car is white, that's four syllables, right? John's car is white, four syllable. Uh, if you have he can't go, that's three syllables, okay? Now, I want you to, and I, there's, I wrote the question and the answer. All the, all the answers are going to be either John's car is white or he can't go. But you need to figure out, according to the question, according to the question, which word you're going to put prominence on, okay? Is that clear? Yes. And what was the drill? Uh, Unstressed syllable, this, okay? Unstressed syllable, some stress, this, prominence, this, okay? Prominence, this, some stress, so cut that word stress, no stress, okay? So figure that out. Then you can watch. <laughs> Yeah. 
Do not abuse your index card, okay? <laughs> this is abusing your index card. Look at this. Do not tamper with your index card. That's a domestic violation. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Almost? No. This has four syllables. Oh, no, no. You represent the answer. You represent the answer. The red ink. You represent the red ink. So, either he can go or John's car is white. Okay? He can go and John's car is white. Okay, so when I said, okay, ready? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> ready? Everyone ready? Everyone ready? Okay, now, so, when I say, okay, I'm, going, I'm going to point to one group, when I say ready, get set, go, you guys do your thing, okay? And as a class, we're trying to figure out why uh, they have that prominence. So we're going to try to figure out the question. Okay, we're going to try to, for instance, it was, I am listening. Then the question is, why, why, no, it's not why. Are you listening? Is, I'm listening, okay? I am listening is, why aren't you listening, okay? So we're going to try to, we're going to uh, try to figure out the question. Okay, this group, four, so they have number one question, okay? Ready? I, I think you need to stand up. Yeah, really. <laughs> Are you? I'm the first guy. Okay, first, one. first. So, yeah. so we have to put all together. Yeah. No, just do your thing. Yeah. And we'll, we'll figure out. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah. Get set. Go. Okay. So say the sentence for us. John. Okay. All, okay. All, all, all of it together. One, two, three. John's car is white. One more time. One, two, three. John's car is white. Okay. John's car is white. Whose car is white? The question is, whose car is white? Whose car is white? Whose car is white? Yes. Whose car is white? Very good. You sit down, guys. Let's work with. Okay. Okay, sit down. Uh, 
Who is John? Anybody else has John Carr? Okay. Stand up, please. Ready? Okay. Okay. Ten is John. Okay. One, go. Ready? Get set. Go. Okay. One, two, three. Go so all of you together. <laughs> all of you together. One, two, three. Just hard. Just hard. What's what's going on here? Something's wrong. Yeah. Well, what's wrong? John. Some stress. Some stress because John is a noun, right? Yeah. Noun is a content word or function word. Content. content. So there is some stress all the time. So, okay, one more time. John's car is white. John's car is white. <laughs> so do your, do your thing, okay? John's car is white. John's car is white. John, John's car is white. Okay, so what's the question? Okay. One, two, three. He can't go. He... All of you. <laughs> All of you. 
One, two, three. He, he can't go. He can't go. Okay. So he prominence can't and go some stress. Now, what is the question? Who can't go? Who can't go? Who can't go? Right? Who can't go? He can't go. But that's not the question that you got. So it actually is supposed to be. He can't go. That's what I thought, but didn't. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, do your, okay, stand up again. Okay, do his, do, do, do UN's version. Okay, do UN's version. Okay, ready? Get set, go. He, he can't go. He can go. He can't go. He can't go. Okay, the question was, what about John? What about John? He can't go. Okay, and they did a very good job. Go has more stress. Go has the prominence, not can't. Okay, go because go is the last content word. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> Any questions about prominence? Emphatic stress. I mean, contrastive is easy, right? But you have two things: black or brown. But emphatic, a little tricky, and old information. We 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 have to know the size. Any questions about prominence? Okay, if not. Uh, let's let's turn to page uh, ninety-five. Okay, so what we have here is. <coughs> Okay, and the second thing. Okay, oh, I need a volunteer to write the phonetic transcription of this. And this one. What happens to the vowel here? Eh, eh, right? Eh, eh. Um, imagine if Wall Street, Wall Street had had known that. Hit, no, that hit, hit, hit. She, she definitely did not say, what's the vowel? This one, this had, right? Had, had. But since H-A-D is content or function word? Function, function word, the vowel gets reduced, okay? Hit, no, that, hit, no, that. Here. Please. Okay, now prominence, prominence, which one? In the, in this in this phrase, in this sentence, prominence where? Sen, right? Sen. Okay? So they very they the, we get rid of H, okay, we get rid of T. So they the senem. Okay, senem. Uh this one or H 
So we're going to say Vaid of Senem. 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 Okay. Louder? How about? Oh, yes. What about the? You want to get rid of this? Uh huh. Yes. You can get rid of this. They just sent him. They just they just sent him. But she did you uh. Yes, you can get rid of the V, but she did say they have they have sent him. They have sent him. They have sent him. So they have sent him. That's one uh, alternative. You can also say they. Like this, right? Can you would say would have would have they would they would have sent him. They would have sent him. They would have sent him. Okay, now. What can you do with if I had known? If I had known, if I had known, if I had known, you could say if I had known. But you could also, grammatically speaking, you can, get, you can put have in front and get rid of if, right? So you would say. Had I known, had I known, then this becomes a flap, okay? Had I known, 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 had I known. Now, that's unreal past situation, right? Remember we talked about uh, unreal present situation? If I were Spider-Man, I wouldn't be living in Boston, right? This one, so with the unreal Present situation, you have to use a past tense verb, right? I would not be living if I were Spider Man. If you're talking about unreal past situation, you have to use a past perfect tense, past perfect tense in the main clause. Okay? No, in the if clause. Past perfect tense in the, in the if clause. So, if someone asked you, uh, Jin. Uh, did you know there? Did you know that there was a test yesterday? And your answer is no, no. Had I, had I known that? I would have, I, I would have studied hard. Okay, one more time, one more time. Did you know that there was a test yesterday? No, no. Uh, if I had, I would have. <laughs> your, your grammar is good, but I want you. I want you to say, no. If I had known that, or no, had I known that, I would have, would have studied. I would have studied. You're trying to say would have. Don't say would have. Would have studied. I 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 would have studied. Timmy, Timmy, did you know that there was a test yesterday? No. Had I known, I would study. I would have studied. I would have studied. Would have studied very hard. Okay, Logo. Did you know? Uh, did you know that I was in the hospital over the weekend? Hospital? Yes. <laughs> Don't think of. The answer is always no. <laughs> okay. No. Sorry. <laughs> You always start your answer by saying, no, had I known that, I would have. Had I known that, I would have. Okay. Did you know that I was in the hospital over the weekend? No, had I known that, I haven't gone to your apartment. I haven't? No, would have. I would have gone. I would have gone. I would have. No, I was in the hospital. Why come to my apartment? Right, right. <laughs> I would have. So, I would have. See you in the hospital. Would have seen you. I would have seen it. I would have visited you. I would have visited you. I would have visited you. Okay. Okay. Now this is a. Okay. Here comes a statement that's always true. Uh, uh, okay, Jenny. 
Did you know that there was some free food in some engineering department yesterday? <laughs> no, had I known that, I would have asked very good. No, had I known that, I would have gone there. Okay. Reproduction. No, had I known that, no, no, had I, known that, that I would have gone there. I would have, I would have, gone gone there. I would have gotten some free food there. I would have gotten some free food there. I would have gotten. I would have gotten, I would have gotten some free food there. I would have gotten. Okay. So, with your partner, ask a few questions. Two or three questions. Did you know? Okay. Did you know? And your question is always. Ask is always. No. Had I known that, had I known, or had I known that, I would have. Had I known, I would have. Had I known, had I... I mean, I think it's it's a lot easier to say had I known than if I knew, if I if I knew. That's very. I found it more difficult. Had I known, had I known is a lot easier in terms of pronunciation. Had I known, had I known that, had I known that, had I known that, I would have gone. Okay, so ask your partner a couple of questions. Did you know? Did you know that there was a big no, had I known that I would have uh, gone outside the world. Did you know that I bought a car yesterday? What a, this should be a straw. What a, what a. No, 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 no. Did you know that yesterday was hot? No, had I known that I wouldn't, wouldn't become, uh, come to school yesterday. <laughs> Jacob, uh, answer the question. Ask, ask, ask the question and answer. Yeah. Answer the answer. Ask the question and answer the question. Do you know that okay. there was a big party yesterday at the house? No, had I known that, I would have gone with him. Oh, what's the question again? Uh, okay, party at the okay. house. Ask the question again. Do you know that there was a... Do you know? Did you think no, did you know? Did you? Did you know? It has to be, it has to be. Did you know? Did you know, okay? I want to say. Did you know that uh, I ate some grub salad with my friends? No, and I know that I would I been there. I would have would have been there. Um, had I known that, I would have been there. Had I known that, I would have been there. <laughs> oh, did you know that we have the homework for this girl today? No, <laughs> I didn't know that you stabbed in your heart instead of watching TV last night. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that I bought a car yesterday? No, had I known that, I would have seen your car. No! I would have. Would have. Would have. Not would have. Okay. Would have. Would have. Would have. One more time. Had I known that, I would have seen your car. Would have. Would have. Would have. You're, you're, you're saying would have. Okay. Don't, don't drop your job. Would have. Would have. Keep it up. Would have. 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 Very good. Would have. Ask the question again. Had I known that, I would have seen your heart. I would have. I would have seen your heart. See? See? So what's the question again? Uh, did, you, did you know that I bought a car yesterday? I, 
Had I known, I would have seen your heart. I would have seen your heart. That sounds weird. Had I known, I would have seen your heart. Okay. Which more common? I would have more. I would have. That's a research question, but I think <laughs> I would have is more common. Because uh, I say I would have, I would have. He said I'd have, I'd have, I'd have. Oh, I don't know. Is that, uh, I think I would have is e easier to say. Huh? I would have. So wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Now that's very difficult. Wouldn't have. That's the uh, that's the syllabic again, like button. Thank you. 
repeat our uh, situation again. In this native country, the authority of the teachers is very challenged. Okay. However, in the United States, he has, he has observed that several students challenging the, the teacher's authority. Uh, authority. 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 To join them. Please thinks he, he may have to take another class with this teacher next year. With this, with this teacher, with this, with this teacher, with this teacher. He must decide whether to profess the library or keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Just check one. Okay, so that's the situation. Okay, you know the rules. Right? You need to participate at least uh, about 15 minutes. 10 minutes. So the rule is we're going to start with the yes group. Yes, we should protest. Agree. Yes, group and no group. Okay. You need to participate at least twice, and you need to use at least three gambits. Okay. And if you use the gambit, you get to keep it. Okay. You say, "Oh, that's a good point." You keep it. Okay. So if you if you were to use it, you can say it, but you're not gonna. It's not gonna count. You need to have at least three gambits. Okay, you need to collect at least three gambits to get credit for this. <laughs> so, it's better to participate as soon as possible. Right. So, does it mean that if someone says that can be, can, that can be, doesn't count twice? No, it, that gambit is not, gonna cap, it's not going to be counted as one of your three gambits. Yes, if okay. someone says it. Yeah. You could use it, you could definitely say it again, but it's not going to be counted <laughs> Okay, so... Yeah. Well, you could set new phone and you and you can you could sit over um, there. And you could you could sit together. <laughs> Sorry the <laughs> We didn't have enough time to set up a table so the configuration is not that great. But <laughs> Okay. Is everyone ready to begin? Okay. So first, we're going to hear from the yes group. 
So someone tell us why he should protest about his grade. Okay, Jim. In my opinion. Uh... <laughs> I think he should protest because uh, the thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the grading criteria is not clear, so that's uh, that's teacher's fault. Uh, so he's not a good teacher. Look at this uh, this class syllabus. Uh, Isaiah make it make a grading criteria, so. Yeah, like attendance and participation, 20%. So he's a good teacher. <laughs> you still have to use three gadgets. <laughs> I'd also point out uh, that he has a right to uh, ask ask the professor about the criteria. He has a right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean, but uh, it, seems, it seems to me that uh, <laughs> There's no room for uh, protest man because you know he already mentioned that he won't consider a great change, so it's no use if you con if you, uh, you know, challenge him.
Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what you're getting at because, um, in my opinion, as Jenny uh, said, it's students' resp responsibility that check the uh, criteria of the class and professor. So, it's if he or she get uh, got a bad grade because of his own, um, he didn't what he had to do. So it's not it's not good to protest about this. Yes. yes. It's nice for me, actually. <laughs> it's quite a side concern. I think that teacher already said the participation is very important in the first grade, but he didn't participate in the class during the class. So. <laughs> am I am I assuming that you are you 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 mean that uh, the professor said that the participation is important, but Lee didn't keep listen to that listen to him. During during the place during the place he has to check his his grade. You could but you, you could use the but but like the say, <laughs> professor didn't didn't make clear how important the participation is. Okay. Um, yeah. okay. It's not. Okay. That's probably side concern. In case of all, in case of that all student has same, has similar grade in the course, and the participation will be a good factor to decide who will be get a good grade, good credit in the course, and it's gonna be a low grade in the course. So, so the student should be more prepared for their grade. So, in the case of the, the, the kind of the. That's okay. Uh, I see what you mean, but I think uh, the teacher, teacher also uh, think uh, the participation is important. So I think the purpose is not not uh, not an irony. It's a, it's kind of suggesting so uh, he can participate to in the class with suggesting his opinion and about the grade also. So I think the talk with the teacher about the grade, even though it is it is it is a lot changing this also good participation in the class and also it is good uh, good E plus to another next semester, next class. I don't follow what you said. Could you say that again? <laughs>
Okay, we're going to stop today. We're going to continue our debate <laughs> next time. <laughs> okay. So, we've done carrying. No. So, today was a practice round. Okay? So, next time, be more, be more, be more.